Our goal is to double our money within 48 hours. All these come with this big lot, everything. All right, 225. The profit is beginning. We did it. One amount of money. The Dark Magician Girl just sold for $150. Welcome to garage sale season, baby. I think you guys can see it. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, this one in the box. In the box. Yeah. You made me a good deal on this one. Chase after the right price. Let's go. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Chase Out of the Right Price. I'm Chase. I'm Skyler. And today we are hitting some garage sales. It's Thursday morning. Could be a slow day, but I think we could still find some stuff. I think so too. It is the officially the fourth week in a row where it has been raining <laughs> during the sale. It's not days. raining currently, so yes. hopefully it's good to go. Tomorrow it's probably gonna rain, so we're going today. Let's do it. Sesame Street books, would you make a bundle deal? Yeah. I don't know how many there are. I have no idea. <laughs> would you do would you do 13? Sure. I got three ones at a ten. Show me now. Did you guys already sell the Wii? I saw it in the pictures. Yeah, you she did? came at like 8 30. Oh like, I just, just missed minutes it. minutes before. Okay. Okay, well, it is. Thank 13. you. Bad. I kind of bought this sewing machine blind at the first one. Uh, paid $20 for it. It's a Husqvarna Viking, and I'm trying to find exactly which Viking, but I'm not exactly sure how to figure that out. They look pretty expensive on average, so I picked it up. We'll see what it ends up being worth. And then a whole lot of Sesame Street books for $13. So we came to the sale because we saw we advertised. Yeah, I was in picture 17. It was not in the, the words, so I didn't think there would be anybody seeing that. Got here 28 minutes before the sale officially started, and somebody beat us to it. So we just missed it, but we still got some stuff. And now, we're going to keep going and are just going to free pick. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, the competition isn't taking everything else, so... Yes. Might have to break some legs. We're kind of rapid-firing it. Sale number four? Four, yep. Just had an interesting ask at the last one, but it probably won't come through until tomorrow, if at all. But let's go to this one. Wow. I would get, say a couple years. Okay. Um, I know he used him when he was working on a, a financial planning class. Okay. They worked. Yeah. Sometimes when they sit idle for a while, yeah. they just quit working, so yeah. I don't I could get a if he has any batteries. That's, would you do five for the pair? Yeah. Okay, I'll just take it for that. Okay. Your specialty. So just hit another sale, got Uncharted The Lost Legacy for a dollar, and then had 45 cards, all rookies from 2020 football, low end sets like playoff, but got 45 rookies for four dollars, mm -hmm. so five dollars yeah. total. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I saw you had Pokemon cards, potentially. Yes, I do. Okay. I'm sorry, like honestly. I cleaned his room and I go, I had a box. I said, do you want this? No, no, no. 
No. <laughs> and then now he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, no worries so, at all. No okay. worries it's at understandable. All. <laughs> so, like said, five. Yep, yep, five and ten. Is that cool with you guys? That's cool, yeah. And then and this then, guy. Okay. So that'll put us at exactly 20 with what we've that got. That sounds perfect. Cool. Okay, thank you. So we got the Battlefront sealed for five dollars. Um, the Pokemon card collection ended up being fifteen. Nothing too crazy, but there's definitely some like Megas, stuff like this that can be attractive. And what I'm thinking is we might just put these on Facebook and try to get, you know, forty bucks or something and, and do a quick flip. So worth the stop. We'll see if we can get more stuff. Okay guys, so we just got a $3 bag full of keys. It's like, I don't know, five pounds, a bunch of keys. Yeah. And then Magic Erasers were 50 cents. Yes. I thought they were two, but they were like 50 cents. I said, okay. So what we're gonna do, I think, with all the stuff we get from today, we're gonna take Monday and Tuesday, 48 hours, to try and become profitable yes. within that two day time frame. get things sold, whether it's locally, eBay, or Amazon. Mm -hmm. We're giving ourselves 48 hours. We're not going to touch any of it over the weekend mm -hmm. or tomorrow because we're both busy. But I mean, for instance, the Pokemon cards, I think Chase said it during one of the pickups, might just be a Facebook come yep. get it lot. Um, that way we can just get rid of it, try and double our money. Yeah, I'm, make I'm up curious for... to see how fast it would be possible to double our money from a weekend. Yeah. And 48 hours is pretty bold, but We'll see if it can happen. Yeah. So we'll, we'll bring you guys, that will be part of this as well, and we'll, we'll see if we can make it happen. Wind be picking up. You guys have the DS systems or Game Boy systems? They're sold. Okay. All these come with this big lot, everything. Did you come down at all on any of it or? No. no? You said you do two for 15 on these? Would you do four for 20? Three for 20? Yeah, sure, I'll do 22. I got 40 good cheese. So sometimes at garage sales, looking stuff up can affect the price that you get. So once in a blue moon, if I'm not totally sure, I'll buy the ones that I am sure of, like these, three for 22. Sims 3 Pets, that's about $25. And then two of the Nintendogs on 3DS, about 15 bucks a piece. So it should be about $50, $55 in value there. I got them for 22. And then I wasn't sure about like DS, Herbs, uh, the Sims Herbs in the City. And that one's like a $25 game. They're asking 10 or two for 15. So we'll go back and get that one. But this was one of those sales where I was thinking the price would be affected for what they would take if I looked them up there based mm -hmm. on the vibe that they were giving off. So yeah. they had a Wii for $100 and they thought that that was a phenomenal deal. And this does happen at garage sales and sometimes people just, they don't really fully understand the garage mm -hmm. sale market for how this stuff works. Yeah. But, but they, and we asked if they were negotiable and it was, it was a, absolutely not. Yeah, so Viva, Viva Pinata is like a t f $25 to $40 game and I left that one. These are games that are hard to know. They're hard to store in those data banks, but I will not be storing them. So here's what I'm gonna give you, $22. Same, same. rate we got these for. Yes, I do the same deal. And Skylar will go back and get three more right. games. Viva Pinata, Herbs, and... Smackdown vs. Raw 2009. Can I see that one? Here he goes. Bye, wish me luck. Make it happen, Kevin. Should I offer something shameless and get kicked out? <laughs> That's not your job. <laughs> One very unfortunate purchase later. That is frustrating. But all right. They yeah. didn't do the same rate? It makes absolutely no sense. I, it kind of speaks us. So like, all right, will you do the same for, you know, three more games? Like I talked myself into it and they're like, nope, that was kind of a one-time thing. I'll still do two for 15. And I'm like, but not three for 22. I was like, all right, so what for three games? 25. 
So you can give me a deal on two, but I am I am genuinely just confused. So I was like, all right, I'm. So two for 15 and then 10 for a third. Yes, that is what they were saying. <laughs> so we got the herbs and we got the Viva Pinata. Those, those were by far the best too. The wrestling. Yeah. So, yeah. So it still worked out. Like $15 on those, those are worth like 60. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a great buy. It's just, you really got to know your stuff to get good deals at garage sales that price games at $10. Yeah. Um, but yeah, nice job passing on the third. Marilyn Monroe. Hello. So all the rooms connect. Ooh, here we go. Are these, these are just the covers. Okay. There's so nothing on it, so let's make an offer. All right, so we got some cool, cool cards. Some. Um, yeah. Some nice hard cased, what era are these? Six, six, uh, six. 90s basketball. Mm -hmm. There looks like some, oh, the Joe Montana football card. Yeah, that was the big one. Joe yep. Montana rookie card. Yeah. There's a Shaq rookie card, tops in there. Derek, Derek Jeter rookie card. We didn't end up getting that box of cards that you saw us going through. The dude asked 40 on it and yeah, he was, was saying much. there's there's like this and this in there that didn't really seem. He was too saying there was a bunch of football players in there and they were all basketball cards. So yeah. I'm like, uh, yeah, I, I don't think you know which box this is, but yeah, um, tons of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Uh, also, a, a Derek Jeter rookie. Yep. Derek Jeter rookie. A ultimate or Blue Eyes ultimate dragon. And there's a couple more in here raw, not sleeved. Oh, Red Eyes Blue Dragon is what else was in there, but we're meeting up with Chase's Local friend. Yeah, friend. I'm trying to put this back together. This must go to something. Which is sad. If there was something there, you know I'd. Oh, yeah. I, I would tell you and I'd come I back. Know you. Yep. I know you take care of me, and I. that's why I call you first. Yeah, I appreciate that. I don't. I had them tucked away behind. I didn't find Yeah, they're already in a bin, so I, so I might just sell them local and get 50 bucks, like, yeah. to the there's right person. I've got a few people that. Okay with that. Yeah. We've talked about that before. Yeah, that's she always said, if it's in your heart, you won't be happy doing anything else. Mm -hmm. And if it's not in your heart, get out. <laughs> All right. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. Yes. There you go. He's, yeah, we've been doing pretty good lately. <laughs> we've met some of the meanest people and some of the nicest people today. <laughs> yeah, she is a gem. She's very, very nice. She's so nice. Um, so she buys storage units and sometimes goes to auctions. If she gets sports cards, video games, collectibles, she basically holds them for me. Uh, we've developed a relationship where she values my honesty and i basically just say it's worth this i pay this and i pay her half of the after fees value in general um but i also got a craftsman toolbox today yeah i don't know if you can see it back there but it is enormous <laughs> we're not doing a pickup on that <laughs> <laughs> so i don't know what i'm gonna do with that whether it's gonna be used or um sold but i feel like 110 dollars it's a big heavy duty craftsman in nice condition very minimal rust yeah like just some typical scratches on top from you know things being stacked on top of it but great shape like it's solid got the, piece the two pieces oh not only that but the drawers Beautiful smoothest drawers out. ever yeah. <laughs> so for 110 dollars i couldn't say no and i feel like i could probably sell it quickly for double that on facebook 
or keep it and have an awesome toolbox for the rest of my life. So yeah, great win. And then I paid her um, 25 for the bin of sports cards just because there wasn't really anything. Potential on some vintage magic cards from the early 90s. Yeah, the earliest uh, but nothing was. Nothing we're scanning up nice. Yeah, the earliest was 93. And there were only two of those, but everything was pretty much 95 or 96. There was a few Pokemon cards that were decent, and then also got a, like a super broken Super Nintendo and very rough very Xbox yellow. 360. Yes, that for one uh, 15 clean. for those. I just I said I could give you 50 if they were in clean, but they probably both won't work. But the the 360 yeah. had a 250 gigabyte hard drive, so I mean that's yes. that's the 15 dollars right there. So it was a worthwhile stop, and now we're heading home. Yes. Okay, so that was a lighter day of garage sailing, but we've been waiting for a lighter day so we could do something like what we're about to do. So stick around for the second half of this video because our goal is to take two working days, basically one working day to process everything, get everything listed in the various areas that it should be listed, and then the next day to allow for selling. And our goal is to double our money within 48 hours. Bear with us. We're going to try and do it and see if it's possible just to kind of show, okay, maybe if you only have $100 to start, you start with $100, you go out selling for a little bit, spend it all, sell it within within that week so you can do the next week and have $200 or whatever that might be. So we spent $293.50 exactly. I logged everything in the receipt book. Basically what needs to happen is we got to process everything and I actually already sold one item on Facebook. So we're gonna roll into that right now. All right, well, I wasn't sure if I was gonna keep it or sell it, but I listed it for 250 on Facebook and I'm getting 225. It is the next day after garage selling, Facebook Marketplace. Great sale and a little bit more than a double up since I bought it for 110. All right, 225, the profit is beginning. Okay, so that Craftsman tool chest, it was massive. It was taking up garage space. And my wife wanted me to get it list listed as soon as possible. So that's the one thing I listed over the weekend. But that is it. Everything else is right here. Um, and I didn't honestly expect it to sell over the weekend. So that was fantastic. So $225 is what I sold that for. So we're still going to be $68 in the negative. But that definitely made a big chunk. Uh, and it gives us a better chance to, to double up here. So where to begin? That's kind of the question here. Uh, here's everything that we bought. This is the only thing that is not like resellable, uh, but they were only 50 cents, but I did factor that in. Um, we got this lot of keys, $3. So this to me is probably an eBay. Just bundle them all together, maybe go for 20, 30, who knows. Uh, it's a bunch of keys and sometimes people are into that kind of thing. And then we went to where we got that Craftsman tool chest. We picked up the 360 which was in horrible shape. We just did a quick cleaning on that and haven't even tested it yet, but it is the 250 gigabyte. And then the SNES, which is just in horrible condition with two controllers and cords and stuff. We got to untangle still. And then these couple games here also in rough condition, but could clean up okay. Um, so it was about $40 for all of that. And that actually included uh, the cards inside of here. So. That's obviously a big part of the purchase. I think it was at 25 for the cards and 15 for the game stuff. The cards are interesting. There, there are magic cards from the early 90s, and we have to scan through all of those. Um, so with magic cards, TCG player app. TCG player app. I get that question all the time. So valuable information. Download that app. If you ever find magic cards or even Pokemon cards, you can scan them on the app. It'll bring it right up and tell you what their market value is. Um, other than that, there might be a couple decent cards in here to separate, but most of them we're just going to throw right onto Facebook Marketplace. That's what I do when I get a big bundle of cards that's not like high end. Sell them on Facebook Marketplace, get them moved as quickly as possible. I think at $25 we'll be able to do okay on that lot. Okay, and then the books right here, Sesame Street paid $13. I like buying this type of thing because they're really easy to sell. This will be an eBay. You lot them all together, sell them as quickly as possible. And in this case, I think we'll do well because they can also ship as media mail. So that's a pretty cheap shipping option. This was kind of a, a total gamble. The Husqvarna Viking. I saw that comps on certain models were really high. So for 20 bucks, I made the play and it has the foot pedal. 
I'm hoping that one will be a win, but I'm not really sure. So we'll see how that goes. These I feel great about a quick sale if they work. Two TI-83 Pluses for $5. She didn't know if they worked, so I just said, how about five for both of them? And I think that'll, that'll work out pretty well. And then another like Facebook type local sale. Pokemon cards, there's some decent ones. I didn't see anything too crazy, but there are like Megas, like this Rayquaza and other things. So I think we were $15 for all of the cards there, and that could be a quick like $50 local sale. And obviously cash is king when trying to immediately double your money. This garage sale, $5, we basically picked out all of the 2020 rookie cards. Um, those could be a good eBay lot, just because they're all rookies. It's very lottable, very buyable. Um, and we could get a quick like $20 sale and then we got Uncharted the game um, for a dollar. So $5 total there. Star Wars Battlefront. Uh, that's going to be an Amazon. It is sealed. I think we can get an instant sale if we're the low price on that. So that'll definitely help um, getting things quickly out. And then all of these, as long as their rank is decent, like 50000 or below on Amazon in the video games category, we'll list them on Amazon. Uh, instant sales on Amazon, the rank probably needs to be 15, 20,000 or below. If you're the low price, you'll probably sell it that day. Some of these might be a little bit higher than that, so we'll see how quickly they're able to sell, but I'm hopeful we can sell some of them. So, and then the, these games will probably be Amazon as well. And then we have the Yu Gi Oh cards here. Haven't even looked through them, so we're gonna have to see if there's anything like this Red Eyes B Dragon could be something. They were definitely vintage, so. We, Skylar and I were both intrigued. And then there's this lot of cards, which Joe Montana rookie card, that's going to be the best part. And then there's like a shack and other things. And we paid $40 for everything from that sale. Um, and that even included some top loaders, which I don't have on the table. I've already started to use those. But that's, I believe that's everything. Um, so let's get to sell it. Okay, so in order to double up, this is the number we need to be at, 586, and that's all in, double up. I subtracted the med for acers. Um, but we already have sold 225, so really, that is our number to hit, 361, in order to fully double up on this day of garage sales. I think it's possible, it's gonna be tough. Let's get right to it. So it's a bad sign if you don't hear that little Xbox bubbing. So to further troubleshoot, maybe there's a problem with how you have things plugged in or yep, if we look here, a little light isn't on so we know that it's not the Xbox, it could be something wrong with this or maybe even this cord. So we're gonna try another one. So a good thing to start with is just opening up the tray. If the tray works, that's a very good sign. Uh, I did get a little dongle for the controller. This is very uncommon that you find a 360 controller that needs something like that, but it is absolutely filthy. I have to do a lot of cleaning to get it all ready. Chase is working on this mess of a Super Nintendo. Oh, it's... It is rough. It is just... Oh my goodness. Yeah, it is like... Oh, pieces are falling up. <laughs> oh. That's a... That's disgusting. All right, it's all cleaned up. We're gonna box it up and hopefully it sells soon. System, brick, board. HDMI, AV, controller, craft. Okay guys, so the buy box on a 250 gigabyte Xbox 360 on Amazon is currently at $149.97. I'm gonna price at that and try to get the buy box. The low is 75, but I think since, after cleaning it up and getting the proper cores and controllers with it, we got that thing in very good condition. 
So that would be a huge win if we can get that to sell. And I think it's very, very possible to sell it today if I get the buy box. So let's make it happen. All right, got this little stack of games listed on Amazon immediately. And hopefully at least the Xbox One and PS4 game will sell pretty quick. And then I would love to get some sales on the 3DS and DS games. Those were actually pretty expensive. Um, probably listed an average price around $35 per game here. And those were the lowest price according to their condition on Amazon. So we'll see if those get sold. Quick update. Okay, so going through the Yu-Gi-Oh cards and turns out they're actually legit vintage with some good ones and I just uncovered this one right here, Dark Magician Girl. Let's get it under the light box. Yeah. So Dark Magician Girl. Uh, it is MFC-000 Unlimited. If it was first edition, we would have really had something. But this unlimited version, in a little bit better shape, went for $250 on a bid. So that's definitely a big score and that means there could be more. Here's another one that went for 350. Condition definitely matters. This one's not perfect, but that leaves a lot of excitement for what else could be in this batch. And that's kind of how I go through cards. Um, for Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon, find the hollows and rares. Look those ones up. If you don't find anything above $10, um, just sell them as a lot. Obviously this card is going to be worth selling individually, and then I've been doing that with the sports cards too. How can I best sell them? Um, the Joe Montana rookie card is going to be worth selling even though it's in terrible condition. Still should be $20, $30, $40. I'm not sure. I haven't checked. Um, and then like Shaq rookie is one that like condition matters in order to sell individually. This one's pretty rough. So I might use this as like a lot topper, a card to attract people to buy the entire lot. Um, same story for like a Derek Jeter low-end rookie card like this um, that will attract people to buy the entire lot So I'll probably use those in that way um, But then I also like building out small lots like this it's the USA set And I'll probably list that one so Going through the cards I already have listed the Sesame Street books the sewing machine the keys and then the lot of uh, rookie cards So those are listed and finalized and hopefully we'll sell soon and my babies are home. <laughs> All right, first online sale on Amazon, surprisingly. So I merchant fulfilled the games, or listed them for fulfilled by merchant. And this one, which we actually went back for, didn't initially buy at that garage yes. sale. That uh, was a rough buy. <laughs> yeah. And they, they, they were firm with Skylar, but uh, he ended up getting it for $750. And it sold for 50 bucks. So we're going to have to see, shipping will probably be around $350 and then fees will be a little bit. We'll see exactly how much it is and probably around like $38 to $40. Bucks. So great, great sale on this one. Gets us one step closer to breaking even and we'll, uh, we'll update the running total here. Alright, just custom batteries in each of these. They both work. This one has some interesting uh, lines that are on it. However, I think it's just the um, brightness. So I'm gonna fix that this one is also working so that is a very good sign there was a little bit of corrosion on this one so I had to clean that up which was weird it didn't have any batteries inside of it and normally if it's corroded you find the batteries in it so cleaned it up and now it's working it's got a little bit of an engraving but again not a super big problem so we've shown this before but this is the TCG player app um, we've used it to scan magic cards right now we got our pile that has not been scanned. Scanned. We're gonna look up because it's kind of a goofy card. These are ones I'm about to scan. These are cards that are about a dollar more. This one's like 94 cents. It's kind of on the fringe. I don't know what Chase wants with it, but there's a second one. So if we get out the app, we should be able to see. So that one's nine cents, eight cents, and this one's the up 94. Oh, and it just went away. So it's kind of on the fringe. Know anything about that card? Uh -huh. <laughs> but just moves. Get some more cards out. All right, so finishing up the last listing, which is this Pokemon card lot. I'm just gonna put it on Facebook for around forty or fifty bucks, and I had fifteen dollars into all the Pokemon cards. But that's it. It's only twelve forty-eight. Yep, 12, 12.48, we started at 9, and we had lunch in the middle, so it took us about 
like, I guess, three and a half hours to fully process everything and get it all listed, get it live. So we've got stuff on Facebook. I did this giant card listing on Facebook for 125. I did include some of the draw cards like the Shaq rookie, um, Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan, uh, just to hopefully get that sold quickly. And um, the Pokemon cards on Facebook, we sold that Craftsman on Facebook. And then everything else is listed between Amazon and eBay. Um, I still have to finish up a couple of the single cards, but that's it. So this now a, all we can do is wait. There's a mess of stuff to go through. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, honestly, I didn't think it would go this quickly. Um, normally our process doesn't look like this. It's more like go through everything as fast as possible to get it to its various sections of where it needs to be listed, whether that's Facebook, eBay, or Amazon. And then it goes into these bins that just kind of sit for a long time. So this is definitely a bit of a different business model than normal to process everything immediately, list immediately, and also try to sell immediately. It's not normally the way I roll, but I did want to test how possible it is uh, for somebody starting like on a budget or just somebody that needs quick money to be able to go out and make that happen all within 48 hours. Uh, so far, we're, we're pretty close to breaking even on the day. Um, so hopefully some other stuff starts selling. Other good news, those TI-83 Pluses over here, both of those work. So that's gonna be a good win. I listed these for 35 each on Amazon and I think those will sell today. And then we still have these left to sell, the SNES. Listed that for 50 because it does work even though it's in horrible condition. And then both controllers were good so we listed those for 40. So a lot of potential sales and we'll see what happens. All right, it is end of day one, and good news, just sold both TI-83 Plus calculators on Amazon. So sold these for 35 each with free shipping. Should come to probably about 25 after shipping and fees. So I think that'll officially put us in the profit if we add $50 to our after fees sales. And that's after one day, and we spent 293, so I'm pretty excited about that. Hopefully some stuff sells overnight and throughout the day tomorrow and we'll see where we end up. Day two. Good morning. We made three more sales last night related to our challenge. So one is the Yu-Gi-Oh card collection. So this was at the garage sale, paid, I don't know, like five bucks for the whole collection. And they sold for $60 plus shipping. So that'll be about um, 54 after fees, which is fantastic. Another one that I didn't think would actually sell, these keys. So paid um, $3 for the entire lot. Those sold for 30 plus shipping. That'll be 26 after fees. So Skylar, you're gonna have to use your magic editing to add these numbers up, because I don't even remember what we were at. I never passed that. <laughs> so hopefully the number you're seeing is correct as far as our total sales go. And if it's not, it'll be correct at the end. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll certainly figure it out at the end. And then one more sale, and that was on Amazon, which this one I kind of expected. The Star Wars Battlefront sold for 19, and that is 11 after fees and shipping, because fees are pretty brutal on Amazon for games like this, but only paid five. So we're doing pretty well. What do you think? I think we're, we're doing a lot better than I thought we would. Especially yeah, I, with some of the random items that we've got, so... Like, yeah. the, like the keys in the yeah, Yu-Gi-Oh card keys. collection? Yeah. I did not expect those to sell immediately. Uh, it's not typically the kind of stuff that does, but hey, it's starting to look possible. We could 2x our money. We got to the end of the day today, and I do have like four interested buyers in the card collection, which I listed on Facebook. One guy could meet tomorrow for a full asking price of 125 but I'm like, I gotta meet today. Um, so we're seeing if he can work it out. Another guy wants to come and look, thinks he could probably pay full price, but probably not since he wants to look at him first. That's kind of a nego negotiation tactic, but we'll see what happens on those. Just made a huge sale. It is now 12, 13 in the afternoon and I'm stoked because the Dark Magician Girl card just sold for $150 full asking price. That's good stuff. We've got to be really close to a double up at this point. Um, 
Again, Skylar, do the magic math. That's going to be about nope. 135 after fees. So add that in, and then I'm meeting in about 45 minutes somebody to look at the $125 sports card bundle that I listed on Facebook. I don't feel great about that because they want to look before they pay, but we'll see what happens with that. It is about 1 o'clock. We are almost to our drop-off point for a buyer on the various Pokemon cards. And they're here. Uh-huh. I lied. It's, it's sports cards, real. not Good. Pokemon. We did it. One amount of money. Under 20. He asked uh, for a $5 discount, and I said, I'm not going to argue about that. Mm -hmm. So I think it, it was $30 total into those cards, and a sale next day for 120 bucks. I think we gotta be out of double up at this point. We're overall. we're close. Prop, Fut future like, Skyler, put put the number up here on my gigantic forehead. <laughs> <laughs> so we just went through and roughly totaled things up. I don't know if you if you ended up editing all of this in, <laughs> but what we roughly came up with was 662. So hopefully that's accurate to what Skyler did or did not do. <laughs> well, 662 we'll my math in after fees sales, and of that. How much was cash? 120 plus 225. Yeah, the the double up. So we had 293 into it. So double up was 586. Mm -hmm. So we more than doubled up already. I'm very surprised. I that did. We did it this quick. I think, I think the power in that is marketplace. Yeah. You can move stuff super super quick, and get cash quick. Yeah. So I mean, it was kind of a theory that maybe this would be possible if you are starting with X amount of dollars, say 100 dollars, just double up every week. I mean, you're giving yourself seven days in that case. We only gave ourselves 48 hours, two mm -hmm. days. And there are two of us, so. Yeah, we realize there's sense. a bit of an advantage there, mm -hmm. but the processing time was three and a half hours between the two of us to get everything mm -hmm. listed, clean, tested, everything. So, I mean, if if that even takes seven hours for one person, that's one day that yeah. you could potentially process everything mm -hmm. and then, you know, give it a couple days to sell. And, and this is very, very possible, and we just proved it, so. yeah. And I, I genuinely did not know if this would work. I was like, I don't know if we should try this type of video. <laughs> yeah, it was. I think I think part of it though is on the buying side of things, you have to make smart buys. Like, yeah. um, if we were to have spent hundred dollars on all those cards that didn't have anything good in them, right? Or and yeah, smart buys, high demand items, uh, and we did get lucky. Like the Dark Magician Girl card selling for one hundred fifty yeah. bucks. That was lucky. Like I did not know that card yeah. was in there. Mm -hmm. The Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I would not have guessed that those would have been so good. In addition yeah. to like the keys, I just didn't expect yeah. it to sell so quick, but I it mean, did. Even if you take the Dark Magician away, we're still over 200 in the profit. Yeah. Like that's that's pretty crazy. Yeah, so that's gonna be it for this one. We, we might end up selling a few more by the end of the day, but it's 120, we more than doubled up and the mission is accomplished. So <laughs> if you enjoyed this mission, uh, please hit that like button and it would really help. If you have any other challenges you'd like us to try as far as reselling oh, yeah. goes, let us know because I think that'd be kind of cool. That will be fun. Um, and see what we can do as yeah. far as that goes. So Anything along these lines, I'd love to do something like this again. Mm -hmm. So, Yeah, stay tuned for more, and we will see you guys next time. Bartle Doom.